Hello everyone, today we're going to continue our explorations of geometry and art and we're going to create a design called the Egyptian motif. I came across this uh, design when I was visiting Cairo and uh, it's quite a beautiful design and it's actually not too hard to recreate. Uh, when you have a motif like this, the first thing to do is to take a good look at it so that you understand the basic features and symmetries of the design. And if you look at it carefully, you're going to notice that this design is created by some rectangles that are rotated around uh, a center that is invisible, which is actually a beautiful metaphor for most of Islamic art uh, in Islamic uh, religion. Uh, the center of the universe uh, around which everything is created is uh, God, Allah. And uh, the design uh, has this invisible point around which the entire structure is unfolding. So it's actually a, quite a, a beautiful metaphor for uh, the uh, religion itself. Um, so you're going to notice that there are rectangular structures. It might be beneficial to count them. Or you could also notice that there are two pentagonal structures that are slightly offset. So you can tell immediately that there has to be 10 rectangles or you could just count them. Uh, the way we're going to recreate that is by, so let's go to create a new sketch. You're going to need Geometry Sketch Path 5.0 or higher. Uh, I'm going to open a blank page here so it can work. So the first thing we're going to learn to do is to create a pentagon uh, with a center. In previous uh, constructions, you might remember we created pentagon using edges. This time we're going to create a pentagon using a center. So the way we do that is we double click on the center of this circle select the point on the uh, circle, which is also the radius control, and we're going to rotate it. If you think about it, you want to have five evenly spaced points around this circle. So uh, if you think about it, it should be 360 degrees divided by five, which is 72. Okay, so it'll give you the first one. And you might remember, you could, by the way, continue doing this. Go to uh, Transform, Rotate. You will always remember your last uh, number. Or you might remember what we did at an earlier construction. Uh, you select the original point, the final point, and define your own custom transformation. I'm going to call this 72 uh, degree rotation. That way I can use this again and again. All right, so once you have that, uh, you could now go to transform, use your 72 degree rotation. Uh, observe there's a shortcut, Apple one in uh, the case of if you're using a Mac. So I'm just gonna continue one, two, three, four, and five, and you create your pentagon, okay? So here's our uh, pentagonal shape. Uh, if you like, you could at this point join with segments so you could actually see this pentagonal structure. Uh, so I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna join the vertices in order to create the pentagonal structure here. And what we need to do, let's go back to the original design to see what's happening. I'm going to create this fundamental uh, rectangle shape at the bottom here. Once we have that, the rest is going to be just a rotation. So the way I do is I create a rectangle here. I select the bottom segment, the two endpoints. I construct perpendicular lines. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put an arbitrary point here because this way by experimentation, we could decide the width of the uh, rectangle that uh, fits to our needs. That way, you could also have some variation in your design. So once I have this movable point here, I select the movable point and its perpendicular segment, construct another perpendicular. This way, I have created my rectangle, okay? And what I'm going to do is, so as we don't get too confused, I'm going to hide all these perpendicular lines 
display hide them and I'm gonna manually join and create the rectangle so what we have created basically is the bottom rectangle uh, from this point on believe it or not it's fun and games the hard part is over I'm gonna select the rectangle and it's the vertices and uh, I'm gonna go to transform uh, I should be able to just use my 72 degree rotation so let's just use that you see how it fit perfectly and again remember the shortcut there's a shortcut here in my case it's Apple one so I'm gonna just use that and when you come back uh, this is the shape you get so at this point what I recommend is let's hide the circle so it doesn't distract us and uh, we just need to create a duplicate a replica of this that is offset so that it is just uh, in the middle of a side so if you think about it that's not a 72 degree rotation but half of that 36 so what I do is I double click on the center again I select everything and I go to transform rotate but this time I put 36 and when you do that you're going to notice you get basically the shape we have the good news is this point right here is a movable point so you could just come up with a variety of designs some of them are inside some of them are outside uh, you can get all kinds of really exciting shapes in one construction and when we are done just like the old masters of Islamic art we hide the center it's a metaphor the center of the universe uh, is invisible so we can go to display hide and when you're done uh, we are all set so at this point uh, you have some artistic choices uh, how you want to proceed I personally don't like seeing all these points so what I go do is I go to the point tool edit select all the points display hide the points uh, and you could give the whole construction here a color a thickness etc you may want to have it uh, become some other color uh, I don't know let's try green and then remember you could also go to edit preferences and change the background color to something uh, that you're gonna like uh, for example black etc okay so quite a fascinating construction with an interesting metaphor uh, and I hope uh, you have enjoyed it um, we're gonna have more uh, interesting designs coming so please uh, keep working and let me know what you create all the best